Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be really short. I'm just going to be showing you guys a really, really simple barbecue chicken crock pot recipe, you guys. If you like barbecue like me, you are going to want to make this. Like, this recipe is so good. It's so easy, perfect for fall because, you know, it's going to be busy. And the weather's going to be changing, and there's nothing like comfort food. <laughs> so good. This doesn't take long to like prep at all. It's so easy. I'm going to be showing you guys um, how to make it and which barbecue sauce I use. I know so many different barbecue sauces are really high in sugar, but this one isn't. And this one is really good. Hope you guys like this type of video. If you like these short, easy recipe videos, please give it a thumbs up. So I know if you're new to my channel, subscribe so you never miss a video with me. I love making crock pot chicken because there's so many different ways to make it. Or barbecue chicken there. I love to put it on a sweet potato, side of veggies. You can make like a sloppy joe type of barbecue chicken sandwich, barbecue chicken salad, barbecue chicken everything. There's so many different things. So you can get so creative with this. I'm going to show you guys how to make it right now. Okay, so for this barbecue chicken, you can use either chicken breast or chicken thighs. I'm using chicken thighs today. That's just what we have. No big deal. And then also, you guys, Walden Farms. This is the brand that I use for like syrup and stuff because it's zero calories. So I'm using Walden Farms Honey Barbecue today. Um, literally, it's just zeroed out. There's zero sugar. Zero, 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 zero. So look for Walden Farms. I usually get it on at Sprouts. You can probably get it online too. And then also I'm just going to toss some onions in there as well. Okay, so because chicken thighs are a little bit smaller, I'm going to put in probably like five of them. And you just place them on the bottom of your crock pot. So five chicken thighs to start right in there. A quarter of onion, just put it right on top, chop them up. So then it looks like that, just right on top of the chicken there. This is the honey barbecue sauce that I use. Honestly, you guys, it's like zero everything. So good, so good. So I'm not gonna use all of it, but I'm just gonna pour it right on top of everything in there. So that's what it looks like now with the barbecue sauce in there. This is all you guys are going to use. So you are going to put this on top. You're going to turn this on and high for four hours. It's honestly, you guys, like that simple. I swear by this crock pot. Like my crock pot and I are best friends because it cooks for me, which is amazing. I wish you could smell my house right now. It smells like a barbecue chicken heaven i learned a kind of little trick and a hack with crock pot chicken i know a lot of times the chicken will leak out water so it turns into a little bit of a soup when you're cooking the chicken but if you take the lid off when it is completely done cooking you keep it on warm the chicken actually will absorb the water so it won't be as soupy so i just took the lid off about 20 minutes ago and it already is less soupy than it was when it was just finished so i can just tell it's getting a little bit thicker and it smells so good. So like I said, I usually put it on like a salad or a sweet potato with some cheese and some veggies. And like, honestly, I just store it in a container for the rest of the week. That's all. Like, it's so good. Honestly, I love making these crock pot recipes for you guys. So if you find these videos helpful, please let me know. If you try this recipe, let me know in the comments box down below how you liked it. I am just so happy I found a barbecue sauce that has like zero everything because you can eat as much barbecue chicken as you want because it's basically calorie free. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.